All right, Tony, thank you. A wind turbine at Salty Brine Beach in Narragansett proves to be no match for today's gusty winds. The 100-foot tower holding up the turbine just toppled, tearing a hole in a roof and leaving significant damage behind. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Colonian has more. Well, luckily, no one was hurt, but the turbine is toast. Now the DEM is trying to figure out what to do with it and how much it will cost. Snapped in half, the wind turbine at Salty Brine State Beach was no match for the gusts brought by Tuesday's storm. I mean, you can see four-inch galvanized pipe that just snapped in half. Uh, it's an amazing sight, actually. An amazing sight that caused some hefty damage, not only to the 100-foot steel tower, but the beach's picnic pavilion splintered upon impact. Uh, we've been through some hurricanes. We've had a few issues with the power head, but nonetheless, I think today's storm, a gust just did some devastation. Tuesday's storm brought wind gusts up to 55 miles an hour locally. Larry Moragin of the DEM says the conditions at the beach, the salt spray, and the intense winds have a major impact on structures near the shore. The nearly seven-year-old turbine, no exception. Shortly after 11 o'clock Tuesday morning, it had toppled. In these kind of oceanfront environments, you can never tell what the power of nature is going to do to you. And those at the DEM say it's never good to see something like this happen, but they're grateful it happened during the off-season when no one was around and no one was hurt. They say at this point it's likely that that turbine will be permanently removed. In the Weather Yard, Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.